What is up, gamers? Welcome back to another lazy game review. Uh, I am, of course, tired. Recently, I beat Spider-Man, actually last night, and it was interesting. I, I played the PC version, the remastered edition of the game. I got through the main story. I've done a, quite a bit of the side quests as well. Uh, I have not done the DLC yet, though. That is what I'm waiting to get into after this. So Spider-Man uh, came out, I believe, 2018, about five years ago now. It's the first, like, big Spider-Man game. I mean, Web of Shadows and Shattered Dimensions, those were, like, decently big, but this one is the most polished, I would say, of all of the Spider-Man games, of course, and also just the most expansive. We finally figured out how to make superhero games in the past 10 years, mostly because of the Arkham games, but it's a, there's a good trend in the recent superhero games. They've all been really high quality. Guardians of the Galaxy, Spider-Man, I guess, uh, although I guess there is Avengers, so I don't know how much I could say about that. <laughs> all right, so Spider-Man. Oh my God, what a game. Uh, I legitimately, I feel like all my criticisms are very nitpicky. There's not a lot to go through. Uh, let's just get started with it. So, of course, how does it feel just to play as Spider-Man going around the city? It is pretty great. It's a lot more weighty than I feel like you would expect to be. It feel like Spider-Man's always sort of the skinny, loose, flexible kid that's always moving around and he never stops moving around. And it's he does still maintain that, but it feels like there's a lot more of a weight to it, almost like how Batman does in the Arkham games, but you expect that because it's Batman. Uh, it took me a little bit to get used to uh, swinging around with that weight attached to it, but as I got better at it, it just it felt perfect after an amount of time. The combat, too, the combat is really solid, surprisingly. It did take me a little bit to figure out the buttons, and there even is a couple moves that I'm not familiar with. But there's just so much variety in the combos that you can put off that you don't know them all. I mean, it worked out, though. I Honestly, everything I did, I would always punch people up into air combat, take them out up there. Uh, that was my main strategy throughout the game. Of course, I've seen clips. The gameplay can be very different depending on how you want to go about it uh but a lot of big crowds a lot of a lot of really good enemies some of the and some of the enemy variety in this game is pretty good and some of the enemies particularly the ones in the demons are they can be a bitch to beat sometimes but it was great it was worth it uh i did find some of the collectibles throughout the game. So it does take place in New York City. I'm not familiar with New York City. I've never been there. I don't have a connection to it. So the city did feel a little generic to me, of course, barring like the landmarks, you know, like Avengers Tower, uh, whatever else New York City has. I don't know. I did take all those landmark pictures, which are one of the collectibles in the game. You just take a picture of like a location and I can't remember. I, I, Madison Square Garden, I guess. Uh, some of the collectibles are a little weird. Some of them are a little annoying, particularly the Taskmaster ones and the Research Labs. I, They were a bit of a slog for me. I did not enjoy them, especially with the Taskmaster ones. I had to keep going back to do them again to get a higher score. That just felt kind of recycled to me. I wasn't a big fan of it. But the rest of them, that the simpler ones mostly, were great. Uh, just collecting backpacks all over the world, getting these tokens or whatever to get unlock new suits. The suits, by the way, are crazy. That like, there can't be that many more Spider-Man suits, can there? There's like fifty in the game already. You unlock twenty when you just like start the game for the first time because it's all the like spider-man marvel ones like the the marvel movies the, the tom holland outfits are all unlocked by default and they're beautiful and all the ones you can unlock oh my god 
like the the 2099 suit there's two 2099 suits the scarlet spider suit i particularly loved the negative energy suit i thought that was just the best looking one it was super clean with that black and like almost white blue like god i'm i'm a sucker for that kind of lining in suits and games just it was beautiful there's also the stealth sections now throughout the game at certain points uh you might take on the role of miles morales or mj as they like break into a place or they're trying to escape someone this happens quite a few times over this the game maybe like 10 at most i want to say for the story the main story itself and i i know some people didn't like them i honestly am a bit of a sucker for stealth games so it really clicked with me i do feel they might have been a little too linear at times i although that could just be me being a stealth game nerd i love like thief i love hitman i love having different solutions to everything you do like that immersive simulator kind of gameplay and i don't know if i should have really expected that going in i do wish it was a little more open particularly just in sections where you're trying to distract someone it feels like oh you just find this one specific like switch to push and then you're good i wish there was a bit more to it than that although of course they are just sort of intermissions between spider-man gameplay so i don't know if i should have expected that much i do also wish there was uh in case you're familiar you're not familiar with the batman arkham games there are certain set pieces that they set up called like predator missions and i grinded through these a ton in high school where it was you batman in a, a large room with a bunch of enemies guards around the place and you have to silently pick them off one by one you have to go through grates you have to go on top of uh like ledges and you have to like sneak up on people try not to get caught those are my favorite parts of the arkham games particularly arkham origins is the one i played the most that's the one i grinded in i do feel like spider-man it feel like they they tried to do that but in a a lesser way in the the fortresses side mission where you just it's basically you're in a large room and you're initially trying to be stealthy the problem i have with it is there's not enough stealth stealth mechanics like i know there's the perch takedown there's the web striker takedown which can be stealthy if you use it right like there was a lot of potential there that was missed out on and of course in those missions regardless uh it is in waves so as soon as the second wave comes in it's not stealth anymore it's just a combat sequence for the next like five minutes i do think there's a lot of potential there that i wish they went with maybe in the second game with miles they do something like that considering he can go invisible and crap uh but other than that it was pretty good uh yeah the combat's great stories oh the story is so good the amount of villains that you encounter i do no no it was great it was perfect actually the villains that i wanted to be developed got the development and of course there were some side villains that didn't really have development that were just thrown in but they were fun they had these duo boss battles and oh my god those were so cool really annoying sometimes there is this one particular boss fight I won't go too into that I died probably 50 times on near the end of the game, but I got through it, so it it's fine. Oh, <laughs> uh, but it's a great game. I would recommend it. I I would give it like 50 bucks. I, I it was on sale for the Steam Summer Sale, so I got it for like 40. But I would I would pay upwards of 50 bucks for this kind of game. And there is plenty of replayability. There's plenty of collectibles. This probably runs you like 50 hours, I think. And then if you want to do like a new game plus afterwards, that's a couple more. But it was really fun. And I might get the Miles Morales game. I'm thinking about it before the Steam Summer Sale ends. Maybe I'll, I'll take advantage. We'll see. Uh, it was a great game. And yeah, uh, subscribe. Check out my Twitch. Bye.